In Hyperlink's SIPI VX 2.6, the PDN and channel model extraction for power aware simulation is even made easier by introducing the combined extraction wizard. This wizard allows you to extract signals only model for non ideal return path effects of vias and traces, or just power nets for SSN only simulation, or choose signal and power nets option to model the combined effects. You will choose the combined signal and power pins most of the time. The rest of the wizard pages guide you through to set up the power nets and its reference nets and then the signal nets and the decoupling cap models, VRM models, ports which are auto assigned, and the frequency range needed for the model. And then you run the extraction. Once the model is created, the model file is populated automatically in the dialog box. You would simply enable or disable the option to include this model in the time domain simulation. You can simulate interactively to take a look at how much combined noise is being coupled onto the stuck low signal due to trace to trace coupling from your neighboring nets, package coupling, and via to via crosstalk through the PDN as the nearby signals switch. As you can he see here, uh, the peak-to-peak -peak noise on the stuck low signal with all of these effects, including the via-to-via -via coupling effect, is about 177 millivolt. You can also observe the compression of the power rail at the driver due to SSN, which in turn affects the signal quality at the receiver, reducing both noise and timing margins. Uh, as you can see here, the peak-to-peak -peak noise on the 1.2 volt rail is about 53 millivolt with 8 bit switching. Another way to simulate is uh, using the DDRX wizard. Set up the DDR wizard as usual and turn on the SSN and coupling effects by enabling these two options. Here are the comparisons of the eye of a data net for a write cycle with ideal PDN versus non-ideal PDN. You can see that both the timing and the noise margins are significantly reduced with non-ideal PDN effects. It is therefore important to note that these effects can no longer be ignored. Hyplink's version VX.2.6 makes it even easier and faster to set up and simulate these non-ideal PDN effects for any DDRX interface.